The maternal mortality problem is actually a health equity problem. We're looking at, in 2020, 287,000 women have died from childbirth-related complications, which means that's 800 deaths per day. This has been my fifth pregnancy. I've lost two pregnancies. So it has been a bit tough for me, and I'm very anxious about it. 95% of those cases are in lower resource settings where there's not a lot of access to ultrasound. And about 70% of those cases are in Sub-Saharan Africa. Ultrasound before induction, you must have one because you must know how successful is it going to be by several parameters. In Kenya, I would say there's, there are some places, yes, there are no ultrasound. Or even if they got the machines, then they don't have the know-how of how to operate the machines. What we know from recent data in Kenya is that 30% of maternal deaths are driven by delays in seeking care. A lot of these deaths are actually preventable. Most of them actually are preventable. Ultrasound is a great tool that we have in medicine, and we use it a lot in the obstetrics world because it is really safe. It is fairly cheap compared to other things like MRIs or CT scans, and it's more widely available than a lot of the other imaging modalities. We are building artificial intelligence or AI models that are able to help with the interpretation of ultrasound images. Our next step for getting these models out into the world and evaluating them further is a partnership with Jacaranda Health. I really do feel that AI ultrasound is the future of ultrasound in low resource settings. It allows providers who are not necessarily trained sonographers to be able to accurately administer an ultrasound. With an expanded access to ultrasound throughout the world, we can actually really hopefully move the needle in maternal mortality rates, in newborn mortality rates. Those are some of the things that we're really hoping for.